So today we're taking on our final challenge, which is the eighth anniversary stage of the anniversary battles event. And of course, we're using a free to play team. Now, I did do this by cheesing with Devilman on the left route, since Devilman can one shot the STR Vegeta on the final phase. Oh, please, please. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to bed. But there's also missions to do the right route, as well as using all five types in Dokken Battle, AGL Tech, Int, Physical, as well as STR. So I'm going to show you guys the team that I used in order to beat this. And of course, I'll show you guys the run. Hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. If you do, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. Let me show you guys the team really so here, quickly. So here's the team that we are bringing here. We have all five types, as you can see. We're using the Earthred Fighters as our team, of course, with the 23rd World Tournament Goku as our friend leader. Uh, Ella Kid Gohan as the 120% leader and 3 key. We're using the rotation of Tech Bulma and Yamcha, since Yamcha being an STR unit is very valuable, as he can do a decent amount of damage to the final phase, which is the hardest part of this challenge. And Tech Bulma with her damage reduction, heal back, very nice card, and she's necessary for Yamcha to have guard, since the first phase is AGL, and that can be an issue for our STR unit. Goku and Chi Chi for the AGL representation, and their active skill is very useful. In Jackie Chun as our int representation, uh, since there's no real better int unit other than Ella Piccolo, and Ella Piccolo needs Gohan, and then the rotation is just a lot weaker. So we went with this strategy, and then tech Jackie Chun to support the tech Goku, of course, and he has guard inbuilt. And being a tech unit, he works by himself just fine in the first phase. It's just you have to worry about him in the second phase. Of course, using Weezes as our item, and the support memory is the Bulma. Not that it really matters too much, it's just in case uh, you take an early super attack. So let's get into the run here. I did pre-record this. Unfortunately, my iPhone storage was low since I took so many attempts at this. So it actually didn't record the last like few minutes of it, and it only took the last five minutes of the battle, which is so annoying because we just missed out on Tech Bomber tanking the Fat Spirit Bomb, which I did stack up with the Whis. I believe that was my final Whis, all right? So um, we have this rotation here. We're past halfway. Uh, the goal of this is just to get as many orbs as possible so that the energy bar is... I don't think there's actually the amount of orb affects it. I did not know I was going to take that much damage, by the way, with that much support on the rotation right there on the guard. But he does hit pretty hard. Cool thing about the stage is that he never super attacks, only that spirit bomb. So if you kind of know your numbers already, you should mathematically figure out like how much um, you know damage you're going to take for that turn. Which after experiencing plenty of losses on the stage, I've finally figured it out. Uh, Goku's going to go ham. This is post-revival Goku, as you see from his attacks that even though he did one super attack. <laughs> I think he did one super attack. That was uh, horrendous. But after the first Spirit Bomb, which I think that was the first Spirit Bomb, um, the bar goes up pretty much the turn after, which is very annoying. You can't really cancel it out as well, because once the bar is filled, you're pretty much done. So I use Goku and Chi Chi's active skill here, which we took a while to build that up so that they don't take any normal attacks since they die pretty easily. We've, I'm pretty sure we're out of Weezes. And I might as well use it right there. And then Yamcha here, of course, after five turns, he has that great chance of launching an additional super attack. So he only launches two, though. Goku and Chi Chi, 3.7 mil. It's all just small chip damage. You can see it's turn 15. It's a pretty long battle, luckily. Uh, and so there's no real way of actually, unless you get. There's technically a way to beat this in seven turns or whatever. That's by going on the left round and doing the Devil Man strategy. But um, we've already done that, so I don't really want to do it again. <laughs> All right, and this is the final moment here. So the only way to tank this super is to nullify using Goku's passive skill, which is a high chance to activate. 
But if we activate this, we pretty much win. And it took me a few runs to get this. It was actually very annoying. Had to juggle the rotations with LR Physical Gohan floating. As you might know, he needs a Goku on the rotation. But we don't have another Goku on the other rotation. So it's a lot of like praying for dodges. We seeing so that you take enough damage to get to the revive section of Goku. So they can start doing at least 8 million attack stats with 4 supers. Got a critical, an additional. And we're just a bar left. So close. It could end drastically. It even got another super. A critical, I think, gets the kill here. Find out right now if we get a critical or not. No critical. And then the Spirit Bomb comes in. We cancel it out. Thankfully for zero damage. One of the strongest hits. Nullified. And then we have uh, this one measly bar. <laughs> I can't believe we lived on that. Um, luckily, we know how much we take on a normal attack. It's about 70,000 for Yamcha pre-super. And um, yeah, 4.5. No dodging mechanic for this Goku, so... We guarantee this hit and we win the game. So that is how we beat the right route. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. I'm sorry I missed my phone storage. And it might sound like an excuse, but it's actually true. Because I recorded the sixth anniversary mission and then I only recorded like 20 seconds of it. Because I had no storage left. Uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay busy. Peace out.